Hi guys, it's Alex again. Uh, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the order of adjectives in English. Now this is something that we didn't actually study on our linguistics course at university. It's not something that usually appears in your textbooks or uh, in teacher training. So it may be an unfamiliar topic to, to many of you watching this video. Um, it is an interesting one if we compare English with Russian. Because talking to my students I found out that Russians don't necessarily have a, a specific word order in regard to adjectives, um, whereas English does. So, if you take this example here, horrible little old woman, um, we couldn't really move these adjectives around. We don't have a lot of freedom. So, when we say horrible little old woman, if we said uh, little old horrible woman, that would sound quite unnatural in, in English. We, we wouldn't say that. That wouldn't be something that a native speaker would say. Or a beautiful uh, long black party dress. Equally, we, we wouldn't change the order of these adjectives. So we couldn't have a uh, beautiful party uh, long black dress. That would sound very strange in English. So there is a certain sequence, certain order of adjectives that you should remember when you're using the language. Um, so here, the first one, if I step up a little bit, uh, is opinion. So this is your personal opinion about something, whether that, um, it's not, not going to be objective, but it's your subjective opinion about the, the noun, which is at the far end that you're talking about. So it could be wonderful, terrible, beautiful, or any other <clears throat> opinion-related adjective that you can think of. Uh, size is the next one, so little, big, short, Moving along, we have age, so it could be old, it could be 24-year-old, uh, <clears throat> it could be <clears throat> young, and any adjectives that might relate to age. Uh, style, here we have curly, twisted, uh, elaborate, uh, lots of adjectives would fit into this category. We have colours like black and white, blue, whatever colours you want. Origin, so where, where the thing comes from, so it might be... English or Russian, or it might be from a city, uh, or anywhere else. Material, silk, metal, wooden. Uh, on this side, the final one, we have purpose. So what it's intended for, why, why you would use it. So here you might have party, or office, or, or school. Uh, and then at the far end, you have your noun, just to finish off the utterance. Uh, so here, in this very extreme example, um, so we, we usually put so many adjectives together, but it would be possible. So Taking this very long example here, you could say this wonderful little old curly black English silk party wig. So in theory that would be possible, but changing the position of any of these adjectives here in that utterance um, would sound ungrammatical, would sound strange to a native English speaker. So it's, it's one to think about, where in, where in English we do tend to have a very specific word order, and we follow that very strictly. Uh, in Russian, you tend to have a lot more freedom to move your words and your adjectives around while still maintaining the main sense and the main meaning of what you're trying to say. Okay, that's it. Uh, don't forget to check out our website. It's onlineteachersuk.com. Uh, and I'll see you next time.